Luke here and welcome back to another video. You join me today with a DCT i30N, the facelift from the original i30N, a car which I absolutely love. There's no denying that. I've said it in numerous videos before. This car is a stage two car running some really good power as well, about 400 brake horsepower. So some serious power, uh, which is obviously the recipe to have a lot of fun, which we'll be having today. Of course, we are joined with Matt, the owner. So we'll get him on, on camera, introduce him, uh, and also get him to run around everything he's done to it. So we'll get him on camera and introduce him for heading out and having some fun in this 400 brake stage two DCT i30N. Okay, so we're joined now with Matt, the owner. Mate, thank you so much for bringing this little beast down on the channel today. DCT i30N, mega car. Yeah. Absolutely mega car. Mm. Yeah, Obviously yeah. it's not stock, as we've said in the intro, stage two, about 400 brake. Some good power on this, because these are 270-ish, yeah, yeah, so so stock, they're 276, yeah. uh, 280 PS. Uh, yeah. So we'll catch it, some people out, they think yeah. it's 280, but yeah. uh, the stock is 276. Yeah, got it to officially 397 brake horsepower. Nice. But I, I mean, they did make it to 405, but they yeah. turned it down. I mean, my journey of this has been quite hilarious really because I mean I got it it was an ex demonstrator yeah. uh, from the dealership uh, I only had like 2k on the clock I yeah. was the first owner yeah it's, it's really funny because I was just curious uh, one day after getting it I've, you know after you get your first car you think oh yeah what can I do to it and all this yeah. and I joined obviously i30 and owners group and stuff and some mm -hmm. bloke mentioned that AirTech were doing uh, wanted a development car for it yeah mm -hmm. and I was like oh great I'll hit them up see what, see what they're saying yeah and yeah. Um, ended up doing a lot of stuff to it most importantly uh, induction kit yeah uh, cool. turbo elbow and that that's what they did first first yeah, uh, and yeah. then I came back later on and they did the intercooler okay and yeah that was a AirTech's main contribution after that I then did my own stuff with it was an RPM GPF delete and flexi okay. pipe yeah and then they then came back later on and said oh we want to we need a downpipe as well uh, okay. so then did downpipe and then of which once I got the downpipe I was like well I remapped this it's and, getting, getting you know, tuned, it's, yeah. Yeah, it's, 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 proper, it's proper stuff. So I currently support the people that remapped it and if it wasn't okay. for them, I wouldn't have been able to put the, the downpipe on anyway because mm -hmm. uh, AirTech had their own little issues at the time. Like they had a mecha mechanic on holiday and yeah. trying to employ another one or something. But um, currently support had to, to put the downpipe on as well and they had to test whether it was working properly as well. Mm -hmm. So they did mm -hmm. some part of the development themselves as well. Yeah, and yeah. yeah they, were, they were awesome. So it's essentially um, running a, a stage two. It basically. is a stage two, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's a stage two. 397. Is, is ridiculous it's, for front wheel drive. It, that is true. It's, you that know, is true. Do yeah. struggle with the traction truck quite a bit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, gearbox wise, has the gearbox been mapped at all or is it um, standard software on? No, I think it's standard software. I mean, there's yeah. a recall for this at the moment for okay. some sort of thing, which I haven't done yet, actually. Okay. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I should really get around to yeah. it. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah, no, I think as far as, yeah, the only, the only thing that's been mapped is what the Courtney Sport just, stuff just that they did. And in terms of future plans, do you want to go any further than this? Well, yeah, so the next thing ideally would be, as far as the exhaust is concerned, the only part of it now that's not stock is the axle back part of it. Yes. So yeah. that would be the next stage of it. Okay. But it yeah. will make it a lot louder, of which it already is extremely loud. It already um, yeah, already quite loud already. Yeah, and it's just it just depends where where, where I find myself. I think. <laughs> I so think, basically the back box. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It'll done. make it quieter because I know that's what um, Dan Bushel did. Uh, yes, with his yeah, one. we know Dan. So we know yeah, Dan. Yeah, I mean, if, if yeah. it wasn't for him, I I would know half the stuff about this car. So yeah. Yeah, big yeah. shout out to that. But. He sold his now, though, isn't he? Yeah, he sold it. So sad um, time, sad time. Yeah, yeah. But, but yeah, I mean, he's been on the channel with his DCT i30N mm. back when he first had that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, performance blue on these, it, it's such an iconic colour for these cars. Um, oh, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Wicked, wicked yeah. thing. But so. anyway, I think if that's pretty much everything, I think we'll hop in, yeah. get it fired up and, uh, yeah, yeah. and grab some thumb. Absolutely. <laughs> so it it down pretty well. Obviously, we've got Ooh. yeah, <laughs> we've got some pretty dry roads, which helps. Yeah, oh, it um, really helps. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's 
very loud. Those downshifts yeah, are hilarious. It's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because I'd love to do all the flappy paddle stuff, but yeah. to be honest, the gear changes are so good. Yeah. Like, but. <laughs> Obviously running stage two, as we've spoken about. Yeah. There probably isn't a, a DCT car which is running a, a hybrid or anything yet. Stage uh, two, is there? Not that I know of. Yeah. Not that I know of. <laughs> Just attraction. Yeah. Really struggles. <laughs> That's a mighty up. third gear, isn't it? That's oh, the third gear is always <laughs> the one. Yeah. Always the one. <laughs> <laughs> Those downshifts are hilarious. <laughs> They're so yeah. loud. And obviously it's all fully like valved and. Yeah, and yeah. normal when you want it to be. I suppose, yeah, but. I mean, to, to be honest, most of the time I drive this in eco mode where the valves are like half shut and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Um, because, I mean, this is my, this is my only car, uh, yeah. so it's obviously my daily. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, it's just so loud. Like driving this all the time yeah. is lovely. And fair play to people that do have ridiculous exhaust on their cars that mm. do, you know, drive around like this. But yeah. I, I can't do that. And I have the option <laughs> to change it, so I obviously use it. Um, yeah, absolutely. But, you know, when I'm showcasing the car, when I'm having fun, end mm. mode, you know. Yeah. Open up done. the valves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's mad yeah. how much of a difference it makes, though, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, huge difference. So. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get that like blow off noise from the front mm. and then you get the pops from yeah. the back? <laughs> yeah. It's like, psh, psh, psh. Yeah, yeah, literally, it is. It is. Yeah. Well, it's such a capable car, really. It I, mean, is. I think when they decided to bring out a DCT variant, for the i30, I think some people are a little bit unsure, perhaps. Yeah, yeah. Because the i30N has always been such a driver-focused car from the original. Yeah, but it does suit it. It, it oh, does. Oh, it does. It does. And you know what? The gearbox on this is so lovely. Just to drive racing-wise, it's perfect. Like, yeah. it's always got the right gear. But when just driving normally, it's yeah. so nice. Yeah. It's so nice. It, it, ironically, the only times I have to physically myself change gears is when I want it to be more economical. Yeah, really? Because <laughs> it selects, obviously, a yeah, oh, sorry, yeah. lower gear, even in eco mode. It just likes it. It just wants to go, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. <laughs> so, um, but, I mean, with all the stuff on it that I've done, even in eco mode now, it still burbles when I'm, um, yeah, I think it's below uh, 2K revs, it burbles <laughs> just in the back, which is a bit, you yeah. know, it's not really what I want, so, <laughs> you know. But, yeah. You've got to hold on, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, you really do. Yeah. <laughs> Those downshifts, I can't get over them. Yeah. They're so good. <laughs> Handles the bumps really well yeah, as well, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, it's so, especially the front. The front is so planted in all the corners. Because, yeah. um, the, I mean, the LSD does, does wonders, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, Just, absolutely. Um, I mean, most cars, it's ridiculously good. But yeah. This, you, you really notice it, because Steve, as we were saying earlier off, off camera, it's quite a heavy car f in its class. Yeah. So it really needs it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, and you, you do feel the weight, but yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean, a lot of, so many owners I know that have done like um, rear seat deletes and yeah. like Dan Bushel, he did the uh, a lightweight battery he thing did. as well. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Um, which, I mean, if I were to bring this to track days and stuff, I mean, that's exactly what I'd do. Yeah, um, yeah, absolutely. Um, given that this is my daily, I'm not really too fast. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> and this is completely standard suspension as well, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, standard. Completely standard. So, um, standard brakes as well? Uh, standard brakes, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, handles it well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> That wasn't even full throttle. Yeah. Was it not? No, no. Wow. It has got a lot of lot of potential. Yeah. yeah. I love these cars. I, mm. A part of me wishes that I bought one instead of another Golf R. Yeah. Because that yeah. was always the plan. Yeah. To build a track car and it was either Golf R or an OG i30N. Right, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. Maybe one day I'll have to, have to pick mm. one up and, and do a build on it because... Yeah. yeah. Oh, absolutely. That would be, that yeah. would be mega. I, I think the, mega. the main standing point that this car has over a lot of other cars in its class is it's just the personality of it yeah. because it's stock you still have all the pops and bangs you yeah. still have all the different driving modes you have mm. it handles so well and yeah. i mean i must admit i mean obviously you're an owner of a golf r mm. I, I test drove one and i was like the 0 to 60 times incredible yeah i mean that's that's that that's their point really isn't it for it because it's yeah. four-wheel drive as well yeah, yeah, yeah. It handles beautifully 
but when I test drive this, I was like, mm. it's got a lot of character. It, yeah, it's just like it, it just this resonated with me more, basically. Yeah. yeah. So so yeah. Um, but <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile. Yeah yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, mate, no, it's a, it's a wicked thing. Yeah. Interior-wise, though, pretty much stock. A few little aesthetic things here and there. Yeah. Um, yeah. Stock seats. Everything. These are nice seats, you know. Yeah, they're lovely really seats. Really nice seats. So, like, so nice seats. Um, you reckon yeah. you've got any plans in here? Ideally, yeah. I would like to do some sort of Alcantara stuff with the steering wheel. Yeah. You know, I have done this LED paneling stuff. Did have a few issues with that, but gonna get that fixed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But it is still a nice interior. It is, it is. I mean, it's it's, it's nothing to be ashamed about. Yeah, for sure. But there's there's definitely places it could be improved. Um, yeah, I think that's the next step because I mean the performance stuff of this now. And unless I do the actual back, I'm unlikely to do much else. So yeah, I think my, my focus now is more cosmetic stuff. But yeah, yeah. no, mate. Thank you so much yeah. for for bringing it on no, the no channel. Not at all. It's an honour. So of course, if you do want to find out more about Matt's build and everything like that, then I will leave both. Uh, your Instagram and your new YouTube channel yep. linked yep. down in the description down below. But for me today, that is it. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, please do make sure you leave a like and make sure to subscribe for all the adventures. Stay tight.